Let's go uh, outside for the start of this match with commentator Derek Talbot. The limp sweet king, Morton Frost on court now. The crowd really excited, waiting for this, the premier event, the men's singles competition. Lim Sweet King has the service, and he will now start the match. Talking to Morton before the match, he was saying that he expected King to make an aggressive start, but that he thought his defense was sound enough to and solid enough to be able to cope with this. And then after some time in the game, he hopes to retaliate with some attack of his own. Morton hoping for a long match here, expecting if he does so that mental errors will then come from the game of King. But this man's attack is something else. Three love. season he's had he wins the serve <laughs> and his first point great control at the net One, three difficult to get such control when the tension is there. Sweet King. Three times champion here. 78, 79, and 81. Service over. Three more. Similar shot to the last one. This time it worked. Three, all. Interesting coincidence in this match. Uh, Morton Frost given a bye through the semi-final here because of an injury to the Chinese player. Uh, and, uh, that exactly Service happened. Over. That was Han Yan. And uh, that exactly happened in the Japan Open earlier this year. And uh, Frost met the M. Sweet King as a result in the final there and Four, won three. handsomely. He's going to have his problems if King can uh, continue to play those tight net rolls. And that's the speciality from King. He jumped so high off the ground on the smash. Five, three. And it's so difficult to spot the direction which he's going to place it. Five, three. Six, three. Oh, Morton, a little lucky there. He mistimed that one. Service over. Three, Boarded on six. the top of the frame, but 
Won the point. And here we see two of the most finest athletes this game can offer. Their movement around the court is incredible, and you can see there from Sri King's legs how Service strong they are. Six, three. That's what gets him up in the air. Long striding, lunging movements around the court. Those quad muscles are so well developed. Seven, three. Frost looking for the gap, but uh, not accurate enough. Now he trails by four points. But good angle on that one. Service over, three, seven. I think King was a little surprised that Morton managed to get that severe smash back. Just fluffed it into the net. Service over, seven, five. What a good shot. Yes, he used the full width of the court, of course, in singles. Eight, you must five. play between the inside tram lines. And that cross-court reply just fell inside the line. Fault receiver. Receiver faulted Six, there for eight. moving before uh, Morton Frost actually made contact with the shuttlecock on service. Seven, that may have put Sweeking off just a little bit there. Typical leaping smash Service from Sweeking. Well, that is shuttle control. Nine, seven. Frost so fast to get in on the top of that net, but it, impossible. The shuttlecock just sort of sat on the top of the tape. Service over, seven, nine. Eight, nine. Good decision by Morton Frost, the number one Dane. Nine, four. And he levels the scores. Not much doubt uh, who the crowd would like to see win this men's singles final. Service over, nine all. In fact, uh, most people who uh, I've spoken to fancy Frost as winner. I think that perhaps Ray Stevens and I are uh, out on a limb. We fancy king but uh, 
really we could all be right at the moment. There's nothing in this game. Given in. Service over, nine all. Really, the stamina and the power of these men is quite remarkable. It's an incredibly physical game, badminton singles. The, the movement involved is quite incredible, and uh, the muscle strength required for the lunging movements backwards and forwards demands an incredible level of fitness. Service over, nine, all. The shuttlecock uh, changed. When you're talking about the sort of power this men have, then uh, the feathers on the shuttlecock really uh, do take a heck of a pounding. Ten, nine. Oh, look at the angle on that smash. Not only does it come down at Eleven, almost 100 nine. miles an hour, but the control on the angle and direction is so precise. Last three times these players have met, including the Japan Open I was talking about earlier. Morton Frost has won every one. But he's down here. This is brilliant stuff. It really is, and again, King finding the uh, gap down the forehand of Frost. Frost's backhand defense so strong. The only area 13, that King can nine. get his winner seems to be down the forehand side. Shuttlecock sat on the top of the tape, but it fell back on Frost's side. Game point nine. Gives King game point. Morton Frost has uh, changed his racket to face this game point. Service over, 9-14. Well, game point saved once, but Service over, he faces 14, it again. Sweeking's second opportunity to take this first game. Okay. He's done it. The end sweeping, the 29, eight-year-old Indonesian wins the first game, 15-9, against the, rallies, the Dane Morton Frost. And really, look, 
by far the smoother of the two players. Limsui King playing very well in that first game, but uh, if he has a fault, it, it's in his temperament, and uh, Morton Frost will be hoping to hang on in there and keep the go game going long enough to force these mental well, errors please, from gentlemen. King. Second game, love all, play. One love. Oh, you don't come much quicker than that onto the net. Two love. So agile. Always expressionless, Liam Sweet King. Three love. What can Frost do to turn this round? Really got to find some control just to Four, keep the games nine. going along. Talking to some of the Asian coaches, they believe that the European physique and technique is equally as good as the Asian, if not better. But the temperament of the Asian is supreme at the moment. Perhaps it's because they've got more to lose in terms of their living standard if they don't Six win. But there it is. King looking very sound at the moment. <laughs> Magnificent disguise on that from Sui King. Service over for love. King's got such a hard smash, it puts you back on your heels when you think he's going to hit it hard. And the gentle shot often wins the point. As it's Five. done so again. Little drop shot, opening up the court Six for the one. smash, and uh, he really is looking so good, Liam Sui King and Morton Frost in desperate trouble now. Very quick. If Morton can play Service the net over. and dominate it in such a way, he can force the lift and start attacking King. This is what he must do if he wants to win. Service over, six, love. Sui King also beat a Dane in the semi-finals. Michael Kelson, unseeded. And he really ran away with that one, as he threatens to do with the final. So Frost got through on that rally, but he had to work awfully hard. Over, love he certainly six. can't penetrate King's defence in the way that King can penetrate his. One, six. A little bit of respite, the first point for Morton Frost of the second game. And the second. Two, six.
Frost had a half court smash, he didn't put it away. And when King Three gets one over. even Six, further back two. in the court, it goes down like a shell. Bad misjudgment there from Sweet King. Morton Frost again doing Service all the work six, in that rally. Two. Service over, 2-6. It's more like the Morton Frost we've uh, come to expect. <laughs> Given in. And King finding the point Service down over, the forehand six, of two. Frost. Seems to be his ploy at the moment to concentrate on this part of the court. Seven, two. In desperation, Frost going for the line on the smash and not finding it. Service over, two, seven. Receiver faulted for moving Four, before Frost seven. actually struck the shuttlecock on service. He won't be too happy about that. It's a bad time to give a point away. The lead beaten, eaten back. Five, seven. As Morton Frost definitely uh, stem the tide at least for the moment he was six nil down at one point pulled it back to seven five now going to the forehand frost expecting the straight smash down his backhand which is so strong service over seven but he's leaving five. his forehand open Now he doesn't know which side to cover. The gap down the backhand Eight, that time. Five. And of course, the lift so very short. You can't afford to do that with King. Get a good idea of the length of the clear if you see where the feet of the player are when he's striking it. You can tell then when Frost's hitting a short length. Service over, 5 8. Just too long. 
Service over, 8-5. Service over, five, eight. The Morton Frost with a chance to put some points on the table. <laughs> Service over, eight, five. Frost again doing all the work. What a classic rally. Both players getting their share of attack. Frost defends so immaculate throughout that rally. Service over, 5-8. by Len Boucher, the uh, umpire. And I think it was for Frost having his racket over the top of the net, taking Eight the shuttlecock five. too early. Oh, shuttlecock must pass over the net before you strike it. That's out and... Uh, Morton Frost desperately disappointed. Nine, five. Understandably so, because instead of winning the last rally, which he lost because of that fault, and uh, the M Sweet King produces his flask. I wonder if he's got the sandwiches there as well. 9 5. Play on, please. One thing for sure, he won't have uh, whiskey in there. There's nobody more dedicated than uh, Sweet King. Ross finding it so hard to read Sweeking. So difficult to play those net shots. Six, Ross ten. striking the shuttlecock with a slice so that it spins, making it very difficult to control the direction of the return. And the M. Sweet King's direction Seven, was uh, well out there. Bit of a desperate smash after such a fantastic return. Eight, ten. And a fantastic return after clearly he'd uh, had two thoughts about letting it go. Oh, he 
was really quick onto that one, King, stretching right up to take it early before 10, Frost had eight. time to position himself down the forehand side. Uh, this second game much tighter than the first. Uh, Fault call there, actually, Sri King caught hold of the post Service at the over. side of the net. Eight, ten. You're not allowed to either invade the opponent's court or, in fact, touch the net or the post. Again, it's the smash to the forehand of Frost, so effective eight. for Sweet King. Service over, eight, ten. becoming an enthralling match. And it's Frost's anticipation of those pushes from Ten King. They're giving him enough points to catch up here. Ten all. That's the first time that uh, Frost has been ahead in either game. You can sense his ever-growing confidence. But again, it's that Liam Sui King smash to the forehand. Service over, 10, 11. That's so accurate. I mean, it's landing approximately an inch inside that side tram line. Of course, the inside tram lines the one that you play to in the singles game Frost just too good at the net at the moment. He's getting some of his touch back. And look at that concentration. He's really determined to try and pull this one out now. Twelve ten. It takes a really strong temperament to pull back one game down and so close. That one uh, well out. Service over, 10, 12. You do get the feeling that if Frost could just take the second game and level the match, he could quite easily go on and uh, win it for the second time. Service over. 12, 10. Again, Frost, quick in there at the net. He's 13, definitely getting 10. on top now. Well reached. Incredible angle there on the smash from Sweeping. 
And he's up about three feet off the Service ground over. when he intercepts 10, that 13. shot. Sliced forehand. The last four serves from Sui King have not uh, won him a point. Tries for the fifth time. And it's same again. Service over, 13-10. Again, this leaping smash from Sui King. And Sui oh, King oh, now oh, asking please. Len Bauscher to call someone over to wipe the court. There's too much perspiration. It's dropped onto the court and it's becoming very slippy. And uh, at the other end, Morton Frost has done his own... Uh, Spot of cleaning. Service over. Proving that he 10, can sweat 13. too. No other option the way this uh, game's being played. Crowd enthralled by it. It's out. Service over. 13 10. Frost with the serve, needing two points to level the match. And the crowd uh, very partisan for the European. Game point ten. That sound defence giving the opportunity in the end for the smash, the point, and match point. Or rather, uh, to be more accurate, game point, but it's lost, whatever it is. Service over, 10-14. Quick to cover that drive from King to his forehand. Service over, 14-10. Seven sweeping serves now fail to yield him a point. Will it cost him? No, surely not that time. Service over, 10-14. This time the sweeping smash so down the forehand of Ross that's served him so well in this match. This time the accuracy not there and it's game point again. It's out. It's out and so sweeping doesn't believe it. Did you call? Okay. The umpire checks with the line judge. He says yes, it was out. And Sweeking, believe it or not, he's only got to look at the scoreboard to see that this match is now level at one game all. Sweeking taking the first 15-9, but Frost 15-10. Second game to Morton Frost 15-10.
The five minutes break has been completed, yeah, well, gentlemen. One game all, and this Love will be all. signing one to see who wins the 1984 All England Men's Singles title. And uh, what a prestigious title that is. Uh, we're going to see live now in full this enthralling, we hope, third game. And let's go out and join Derek Talbot. Playing. And this match turning into something of a classic with Morton Frost now starting to serve this third and final game. One luck. Morton Frost wanting a long game and a hard, expecting a hard one and getting it. He feels that he can possibly rub the edge off King's hard attacking smashes the longer the game goes on. Two love. Service over, love two. So King gets the service at love two. Interesting from Frost, he played a clear when Service normally over. he would have Two played a smash, luck. but the return to the net was loose and he was as quick as lightning onto it. Service over, loves two. Test now of the temperament, some say suspect temperament, of Liam Sui King. Service over to Love. See, that's an air uh, sign of pressure. Three, love. Very wild return from King. And Frost already proving that he has the strong temperament today, already pulling the game from an almost impossible situation. Four, love. Service over, love four. The yeah, M Sweet King has a 50% success rate in All England singles finals. This is his seventh, and the previous six he's won three, lost three. The noticeable difference in this third game is Service that King four, is just not smashing quite so often. Maybe he's feeling a little tired. Or perhaps he feels that the defense of Frost is just too good. Smash this time. Service over, love four. And successfully.
one four. Sweet King, who dominated this match for so long, wins the first point from his side of the net of this deciding third game. Service over, 4-1. Frost reading Sweet King much better now. Out. Service over, 1-4. Two, four. Well, Frost had two shots out the back of the court, but he's certainly starting to dictate and putting more pressure on King. Service over, four, two. Yes, King's not penetrating with his smash any longer. 5-2. And Frost taking most of the attack to Swing King. <laughs> Service over, 2-5. Service over, five, two. That's in. Service over, two, five. Service over. Nice shot Five, from Frost. Two. The slice smash taking the pace off the shuttlecock, making it very difficult for the tense sweeping to return. And a Service bit of tip for two, there. Five. So wonderfully poised this match now. One game all, Frost ahead by just 5-3. Yeah. Service over, 5-3.
this over, 3-5. Well, that was poor misjudgment over, by the Indonesian. Five, three. I think we'll find, if we look back at the way this match has gone, that uh, certainly in the latter stages, it's been unfortunate for Sui King that uh, you only score when you've got the serve, because his best winning shots, I think we'll find, have all come on winning the serve. As with that, Service over, 3-5. Five. That smash wins him the serve back, but uh, when it comes to winning points on the serve, he's not been doing at all well. There we go again. Service over, five and three. And when it comes to rallying, without the smash, Frost seems to come out on top. Returning some of the form he showed in the first game with that fierce smash five. down the forehand side of Frost. The last 16 serves have yielded only four points. Six, three. The longer the rallies go on, the better Frost likes it. A sweeping, uh, no fortunate to win Service that after three, six being in several changes of mind over whether that uh, earlier one was going out or not, but he got it back. And now, back with the serve. Play on, please, Morgan, gentlemen. 3-6. Just out. The whiplash over. smash. Six, three. Service over. Three, six. Neither player able to really take advantage of their serves.
cross, play that late. He thought it was going out. Four, six. Just letting King ease back into this game. Time Sweet King takes the point on the long rally. Five six. I think he fooled Frost on a couple of occasions there by going for the back of the court. Short. King playing Six. a very good oh. tactical game now, realizing that he hasn't the energy to continue smashing throughout every rally. So he's prepared to play the rallies out, dropping, clearing, moving his opponent from the back of the court and into the net. And that leaping smash again. Seven, six. Gives Sweet King the lead in this deciding game. Great play by King. Conserving Eight, his energy Ends, please, for the big smash, but only when he feels that it's really on for a winner. Interesting to look how this man plays that smash. They time the jump so that at the point of contact with the shuttle, the body is just at the point where it's beginning to come back down. So not only have you got the effect of the forearm, you've got the body weight as well behind the smash and hence the immense power. And so, Interesting to see Sweet King put some cream on his legs on the changeover. Perhaps he's uh, feeling signs of cramp. Certainly doesn't look it the way he's moving. Seven, eight. Cross scoring, tweaking to the oh. left hand court. An opening on the other side to put the shuttle away. Yes, Frost anticipating so well. Look at that, he anticipated that really severe smash to his forehand. And again. So the match swinging almost with every minute. Nine, Ross now eight. leading 9-8. It's the first to 15. 
And it's uh, almost like the sort of badminton atmosphere that you get in the Far East. Sweet King will be at home here. He'll be at home as far as the crowd is concerned, Ten, but um, he's showing signs of tiredness now. Shots which would normally comfortably be in are edging their way out of court. Service over, 8-10. Sweet King, I think, hedging for a little time, try and pull himself together. You can feel that uh, Frost got more control on the game at the moment. Service over, 8-11. Sweet King looks tired to me, had to do a lot of work there. He likes to smash cross Nine, court and 11. gives himself a lot of ground to cover for the return at the net. Service over, 9-11. Sweet King following every point, won or lost, with a little walk around the court. Oh. Service over, 
really good judgment there from Frost. Only inches out. And this perhaps one of the closest finals we've seen in the men's singles events for years. And that brilliant return from Sui King, setting up the Service winner. Ten, twelve. Sui King then winning the serve, but he's got to start doing something with it. he's pulled one point back to 12 10. That really did have the look of a tired shot from Sui King. Yes, I think that's the situation at the moment. King has lost some of his strength and he knows he can't smash to win points in the way he could earlier on. Frost's got the confidence and he's still got the control. And the judgment. That's out to give a match point. 14, match point 10. Morden Frost of Denmark serving for his second All England singles title. <laughs> and failing. Service over, 10, 14. And a run on his serve, never more crucial. Paul E.M. Sweet King. But Frost is Service back over, 14, on match 10. point. His second match point for the All England title. Trophy for the second time 
against the three times winner, King. And Sui King looking tired. Maybe that cost him in the end. And clearly disconsolate because that's his seventh. And he's lost four of them. And he looked so good for so long. But in the end, the experience, the temperament, the power and the strength of Morton Frost wins him the All England singles title Match of 1984. 9-15, 15-10, 15-10. Morton Frost at his best.